I had just gotten done with the World Cup in Finland, so I flew into Atlanta, but my mom flew in on a different airline two hours beforehand, so she took all of my luggage to make it easier for me. And so she went and stayed at a friend's condo for two hours to wait for me. And while she was up in the condo for two hours, someone broke into the car and stole all of our luggage. So for the bag that I care about the most was my ski bag and it was my jumping skis and my team uniform, my team jackets, my helmet, my jumping glasses, all of the things that I need to perform my best. Um, The skis are um, about 1600 each. So there were two pairs of skis in there. So that's that's the one thing that I care about the most is the skis because I can I can get a new uniform and new helmet and things like that but the skis are really difficult to get because they're from Switzerland and we're not really near Switzerland. <laughs> tried to not freak out too much because I I can't really do much about my our car getting broken into and my bags being stolen. All I can do is really focus on what I can learn from the experience and what maybe this might be teaching me in the bigger picture. But when it first happened, I just was freaking out about how I was going to compete in this upcoming Olympic qualifier in Canada and how I was going to train beforehand because I I don't have any skis because all of my skis were in that bag. Will you please give me my skis back? I mean, I hope like you obviously needed my stuff more than I did or else you wouldn't have stolen it, I would hope. So I, all I ask for is my skis back. I don't care about the other luggage. I mean, that would be great to get back to because I had a lot of personal like items that meant a lot to me. But if I could just get my skis back, that's a good start. <laughs>